Hello lovelies. Today I want to share with you my journaling slash stationery essentials. These are all items I would repurchase if I had to start all over from scratch in my stationery collection. As you guys know, I recently had a big move and could only take a small amount of items with me and these would be the essentials that I didn't want to lose or be without. Now, I don't want anyone to feel like they need to have these items because, to be honest, to journal all you really need is any notebook you can find and really any pen. And if you want a collage, you can also use random bits of paper and cutouts from old magazines. So this wouldn't be my stationary essentials if I didn't include my two main notebooks and the ones I have to have with me all the time, which are my Hobonichi cousin and my traveler's notebook. So you guys have seen a flip through of my traveler's notebook many times before, but in here is a folder that I have filled with random bits that I would need to journal on the go. I have this little dashboard and my memory keeping insert which is my most important insert and my commonplace insert which is new to me this year but it has been very valuable for me to take around with me everywhere. My next journal is my Hobonichi cousin and this is sort of my all-in-one it's not my memory keeper it is more of a planner and a long-form journal this journal stays on my desk while my traveler's notebook goes with me everywhere and in my monthly section i like to plan out any videos or content i would like to release as well as birthdays and this is just my all-around calendar on my weekly pages, I like to document my day and sort of keep myself accountable on what I do on a daily basis. I tend to procrastinate a lot, so this has been a super helpful tool for me. On my daily pages, I divide them in half and half of it will be for my prayers and the other half will be sort of a blurb of what I did throughout the day. And in here, I really love to decorate the pages, just as I do for my memory keeper. And I like to have a lot of fun with my journals. Now, moving on to the actual stationary essentials. These are my non-negotiables, the ones that I have to have with me all the time. And the first item is adhesives, <laughs> a glue stick, and a tape runner. I prefer the glue glue stick brand for my glue stick since it smells so good and as far as tape runners really anything goes. The next item is a good pair of scissors. I use these all the time and I actually lose them all the time and for some reason I haven't lost these specific scissors. They're wonderful for cutting out pep tapes and any ephemera. They're just versatile. The next item is markers. Any marker will do. These are the colors that I use the most and I feel like they go with a lot of my stationary stickers and pet tapes and just my style overall. And these are great for brush lettering or just adding a hint of color to any spread that seems to be lacking something or feels a bit empty. The next items are pens and my favorite gel pens are these uniball 1fs i love the gel formula they are the blackest inks this little short one this is just a little short version and they're both very comfortable to write with and of course i couldn't go without mentioning my most favorite fountain pen i have quite a few gold nibs and steel nibs in my collection but the one that I always, always want to grab and write with is this Pilot Custom 823. 
I don't know why, but this one is my baby. It just writes so, so smooth compared to all of them. And I love the way it feels in my hand. It really outshines all of the pens in my collection. The next items are things you don't need but are really nice to have. And these are my stickers and pet tapes. In this little folder, I have all of my Mindwave sticker sheets. They are very unorganized, but I love using them to add a small detail on anything I do. And I really love the designs that they come out with. I feel like they're an easy way to decorate a page without having to cut out a pet tape. And even though they're not the most economical option, I do find them very easy to use especially when you're decorating in a rush like I am sometimes because for some reason I rather have my page decorated before writing I don't know I've been decorating my pages for so long that I can't imagine writing on a blank page back here I have some random sticker flakes my most favorite ones and I also have some PET tape cutouts as well I feel like if I were to go on a trip or anything, I could easily take this specific folder with me and my TN and I'm ready to go. I don't really need to take anything extra or even a pouch. Another item that I really love are print-on stickers. Now these are the two that I use the most. One of them has MU print-on stickers and the other one has print-on stickers from different designers and print-on stickers are basically images that you rub onto the paper and they actually look like they're printed on from factory which is really cool and they're really great for layering without adding any bulk to your pages the milk tea color one has some of my most favorite pion transfer stickers i really love her designs I feel like they can go with anything and for some reason I have some random sticker sheets back here as well. <laughs> okay, pet tapes. Now I love pet tapes. I have drawers full of pet tapes that I use all the time but these are some of my current favorites that I keep going back to. So generally there are three types of sticker rolls or PET tape rolls and the first one is a washi tape roll from La Dolce Vida and this one is completely matte I have seen some of them that the design itself has some gloss to it this one has a slight gloss nothing crazy but these are my absolute favorite girls and what I love about the washi tapes is that they are kind of invisible they are invisible on white or cream paper and i find them to be a lot easier to use and cut out and store since they have some texture to the paper these next two pet tapes are from pion and this one is a matte PET tape and you can see here that the design is very glossy and saturated and you can see a lot of small details. The background itself is matte so again it is invisible on most papers and they're just really nice. This third style of PET tape is the all glossy kind and again this is from Pion and it's the same as the matte. The only thing is that the background is glossy as well. And it's all up to preference on what type of PET tape or washi roll you prefer. And this is another favorite PET tape roll and it is from Ivy Snow. And this type is the matte one and I just love her whimsical designs. 
they're very beautiful and detailed and just feel so nostalgic i don't know how to explain it and this pet tape roll is another matte one and i feel like the matte with the glossy design is the most common pet tape you'll find this one is from our studio and it has some very bold floral designs and i have been loving this one lately this last one is another pion and i really love pion pet tapes and this one is a matte one as well and and i just love the details of pet tapes and they just add a little extra something to any collage that you might do the next item i love to have i don't really purchase these often i get them a lot in my pen pal letters but i feel like these are very fun to use for backgrounds and adding some texture to your collages as well and these are just random ephemera papers that you can get anywhere they are pretty cheap depending on where you find them and a lot of times you can find them on aliexpress or obtain them through pen pal letters the last thing I want to show you are my classic -y boxes, which I use as a sort of stationary capsule, if you will. Every season, I will pick out some of my favorite stationary items that I want to use, and I will put them in here for easy access instead of rummaging through my drawers trying to find what I would like to use. This way I feel like I get to really know all of my stationery, especially the pet tapes. In this little one, I keep tins of pet tape cutouts. That way it's a lot easier for me to manage and I get to remember what I have as well for the future if I ever want to have a specific design. Okay, so in here like i said these are my tins okay so let me take this out and organize this a little bit the first trio of tins are dedicated to little bits and pieces while the bigger tin has some very tiny stamps inside the white tin is for sticker roll cutouts that are more on the whimsical side and a lot of them are from miss hogue ivy snow some of them are from pion as well and these are all pre-cut out so i don't have to sit down and cut straight from the roll the black lcn tin is filled with girls just girls i use girls in almost every collage and in here i have different types from la dolce vita pion show little happiness I also have some from Windry. It's a little messy now because I was using this for some deco earlier, but they're all separated by designer with wax paper. This last smaller tin, like I mentioned before, has lots of paper bits. Some of them are stamped pieces of paper. Some of them are leftover papers i love papers i use them all the time to add some texture to any little collage that i might make the type of collages i do are very simple minimal collages just like my surroundings i don't like to have a lot of clutter in my pages i like everything to be pretty without giving me anxiety and this last peach color tin is my mini stamps some of these are from jesslyn padilla and i believe the rest of them are the blind xx stamps and i'll try to link everything down below if it's still available in case you are interested in purchasing any of these items now my big classic e-box i love this thing so much i feel like it's a little treasure box and in here are a lot of my washi tapes and stamps that I've been using a lot lately. So when I open this, the first thing I see is the lid. And here I have a lot of little post-its. I have these mustache post-it notes and some other like glassine type of post-its. I really love using these. 
And in here are the stamps that I selected to use for the season. All right, let's look at the top portion. And these are, forgive me if I pronounce this wrong, my Sashihata ink pads. I love these colors the most. I have a ton of colors in my collection, but these are the three that I use the most. I think it's because I use a lot of colorful PET tape, so sometimes the more vibrant color stamps can clash. So I have tons of refills for these, and these are just my favorite. On the side, I have these mini wish stamps that live here forever since it's the perfect spot for them. And here, this has been my little spot for my Kakimori dip pen. I love this thing and I use it a lot for swatching inks and sometimes when I want to use a specific ink for a very short amount of time I'll just use this to write with and it just writes really beautifully. And back here I have a lot of washi tapes from various brands. Here are some slim washi tapes that were gifted to me by a dear friend. And one of my favorite washi tape brands is from Yohako. And I really love how delicate these designs are. Back here, I have a little washi tape sample of the MT Pastel collection. I didn't feel the need to have a full roll. So I just bought a sample of all of the colors. And in the front, I have a lot of my favorite stamps. But let me see what's in the bottom of this. It's a bit of a struggle. <laughs> oh, this trio is from Classic-y and again, another favorite. And down here, I just have some random washies and random bits. Apparently, eye drops, so let's hide that. <laughs> Putting my washi tapes back. Yeah, this box is really stuffed to fit as much as possible. Okay, and this little section is my word or phrase stamps from some things of mine and favorite. And I really, really love word stamps. I feel like they add a finishing touch to any collage or any deco, and they're a lot cheaper in the long run than using phrase stickers. And these I phase out all the time. I need to phase out some of these, but I've just been loving it so much that I just can't. I guess I'll just go through all of the stamps that I have here. I have a pretty large stamp collection, and maybe one day I'll do an entire video dedicated to my stamps. But for now, these are my current favorites and the ones that I've been loving the most. A lot of these are from Ivy Snow. Jesslyn Padilla, Desk Gems. June recently created a stamp set dedicated to everything stationary and I have been loving it, especially since they are word stamps, so they have been very fun. A few of these in the corner are from Watch Them, and this one is a Nove stamp that my best friend gave me. And this specific stamp has been living here for the longest and it's my favorite. And I think it's because it has that little T in the corner. I just really love this contemporary styled stamp. And down here I have a couple pieces from Jesslyn Padilla and her most recent collection. I really love these stamps and I do rotate these a lot throughout the seasons and it's almost time for me to rotate these out and I'm kind of sad about it as strange as it sounds but I do like to use all of my stamps and just keep everything fresh to help me not become bored with my collection or just bored with the items that I have. It's a good way to buy only the things you love and not feel like you have to buy to stay creative. When we first started moving into our new home, these were the items that I just had to have with me on my first night and couldn't imagine being without. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this rambly stationary essentials and peek into my classic-y capsule boxes. Please hit that like button below so I can continue creating more content like this. And consider subscribing if you haven't yet. 
Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one, which will be a sort of thought process on how I like to deco or do my mini collages. Until then, bye.